is a Q&A Weekends episode where we answer your question right here on the show. If you have a question you want to ask us, please email us over at support at businessrepublic.net. We will get to your question for sure on Q&A Weekends. Or you can send me a tweet on Twitter. My handle is B-I-Z Republic, Biz Republic. As always, I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar is in home. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. And today's question comes from Harry. And Harry asks, have you ever considered selling your businesses? A very interesting question, Harry. I will definitely get into it, give you my honest answer. And, you know, I've had businesses in the past where I had to consider this. And I'll give you my take on it. What are some of the factors I have to consider when I have to make a decision like that? So let's get into it, guys. Let's get down to business. Today's episode of The $100 MBA Show is sponsored by our favorite software when it comes to scheduling, and that's Acuity Scheduling. Acuity Scheduling is the easiest way to get your clients to book you for your time. If you're a business consultant, a business coach, a graphic designer, a hairstylist, a massage therapist, if you're in the service industry, then you need an easy tool to allow people to book you for your time. And Acuity Scheduling allows you to do that. It syncs with all your calendars. It's amazing. And best of all, they're allowing you to try it out for free for 45 days. Do this, sign up for this now while it's still available. Just go to acutyscheduling.com slash MBA. Again, that's acutyscheduling.com slash MBA. So Harry asks, would I ever consider selling our businesses? Well, first of all, the $100 MBA and Webinar Ninja, our software company, these are businesses that we run now, but I've had businesses in the past before. I had my own clothing line. I had a business consultancy business. I had arbitrage. I had a whole bunch of other businesses that I do not do anymore. At certain points in those businesses, I had to make a decision to let go of it or consider selling it. So when it comes to this question, you have to just get real with the situation. The only way you can actually sell a business is if it has value, if it's actually doing well. No one wants to buy a business that's not doing well, that's not getting an ROI, that's not profitable. So if you're in the position to sell your business, that means it's doing well, and you're not selling it because you're just sick of it because it's not doing well. Now, there's some people that build a business, they run a business for 10 years or so, and at some point they say, hey, you know what, I wanna try something else, I wanna shift gears, I wanna dedicate my life to something else, so I wanna sell the business. It's running well, it's successful, it's profitable, so I wanna go ahead and hand it over to somebody else for a reasonable amount of money. So for us, I actually like the challenge of building a business. I'm not really in the mindset to sell anything right now. For me, the business is my life in a lot of ways. It's what keeps me going. It's my livelihood. It's my craft. It's my vocation. If I didn't have the business, I don't know what I would do. I'd probably pick up another business or pick up another project. So to be quite honest, in order for me to consider selling a business, there's got to be reasons. And for me, a huge lump sum of money is not really a good enough reason. Now, I'm not saying that I don't like money or money doesn't matter to me. Of course, it matters to all of us. We all wanna be financially independent and financially secure, but if you're able to pay your bills, put a roof over your head and eat most days while running a business that's exciting and challenging, that's what I'm looking for. That's the life right there, that's exciting. One thing I learned as an entrepreneur for over a decade is money comes and goes. Making money, losing money, All that is just a part of being an entrepreneur. Obviously, you wanna be making more money than losing money, but the point here is is that if you wanna make money, it will be there, those opportunities will be there. It shouldn't be the driving force. It should be a part of the equation. But if you're working on something that really gets you excited, that really challenges you, that makes you feel like, hey, I can really make a dent in this area, in this world, you can't put a price tag on that. It's really hard to say you don't want that. It's really hard to let go of that especially when you have it. And currently, that's what I have, so I don't really have any inclination to think about it. But hey, I'm an open-minded guy. Maybe later down the line, you know, Nicole and I wanna work on something else or our interests shift. But I don't like planning for things that I really don't see happening in the near future. For me, I like to focus, keep my eye on the prize, and just try to build the best product for my customers. See, the way I see it, your biggest asset, your biggest equity is your brand and your reputation. So if you can continue to help your customers and give them things that really help their life and add value to their life and wow them, no matter what you do in the future, whether you sell a business, start a new one, you can always call upon that. Your reputation will stand on its own two feet. 
So I like to focus on the value I'm trying to add to my audience. I spend most of my energy trying to do that rather than say, hey, if I sold my business and it got X amount of dollars, how much money would I get and would I be able to reinvest that into a new business? That's a different mentality. That's not a business owner mentality. That's an investor mentality. And there's nothing wrong with doing that because you may become an investor later on or you're currently one. And you need to have that kind of mentality when it comes to investing in new businesses. But when it comes to building your own business, you got to be customer focused. I know that may seem irrelevant to today's Q&A question. Would I ever consider selling the business? But for me, that's where I stand. I really do enjoy what I do. And I enjoy the challenge of trying to please my customers and provide the best value possible. And if I sell the business, I won't have that. And I worked very hard to get to some certain points in our businesses. And Nicole has too, and the whole team has. You know, the thought of starting all over, it might be exciting, but it's also very tiring. And why do that when I have something already here? I know a lot of people say, hey, you know, you can get bought out by a bigger company and cash out. Maybe I'm old school. Maybe that's not just the way I see business. I didn't get into entrepreneurship so I can you know, start a business and sell it. I have more of a long-term view. I mean, a really long-term view. I want to leave a legacy behind, not only through our products and services, but also through the value of the content we share, like the show, like our blog, like the courses we create. I want to be able to leave my mark well beyond my years. And I know Nicole feels the same way. Guys, I got more on today's topic, but before that, let me give some love to today's sponsor, HostGator. When you're building a business, you don't want to have to worry about the tech of creating your business website or registering domain names or getting SSL certificates for secure checkouts. Let the experts take care of that for you over at HostGator. When you sign up for HostGator, you get 24-7 live support. So you get a whole team of people dedicated to make sure you win with your business website. They'll help you and walk you through creating your website, maintaining your website, and upgrading your website whenever you need it to be upgraded. That also includes that when you start with the baby plan with HostGator, you can upgrade at any time as your business and your website grows. But the point here is just to get started. And now is a great time because you could save 30% off with our amazing discount code. That means you can get started for only $5 a month. Just go to HostGator.com slash MBA30. Again, that's HostGator.com slash MBA30. Guys, to wrap up today's Q&A weekend, you know, when it comes to selling your business, you're thinking about it. Think about the reasons why. If your business is thriving and you're just looking for something different, or maybe you just want to maybe take some time off, a couple years off and explore the world. That's cool. But selling your business is not the only option. You can have somebody take over the management. You can get a partner involved and still keep equity. Or of course, you can sell the business. You can cash out and decide what you're going to do with your earnings later. But you got to make sure the reasons are right for you. Just because somebody gives you an offer doesn't mean you have to take it. All right, guys, that wraps up today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit subscribe because tomorrow we have an amazing episode coming at you, a guest teacher episode by Adam Franklin, my good friend from Sydney, Australia. I absolutely love Adam, and he is going to teach you a great lesson on how your web marketing universe fits together, how everything fits together for a cohesive plan. Make sure you tune in for that. That's it for me today, guys. But before I go, I want to leave you with this. You know, having a business or starting a business is always equated to making money. And I understand that. I mean, making money is a big part of why people start businesses. But it's also an incredible journey. It's a challenge. It's a lot of fun. It's the autonomy of doing things on your own watch, doing things the way you want to, seeing something come to life. To me, that's exciting. And sometimes it's hard to put a price tag on that. And if you don't want to sell, you don't have to. And the business is doing well, but you're just not into it anymore. Maybe selling is a good idea. Give it to somebody who will be passionate about it. All right, guys, I hope that helps, and I hope to see you in tomorrow's episode. I'll see you then. Take care.